Ah, there's some nice gentle music. Good morning, everyone. It's around one minute to 4 a.m. here in New York time. In the New York zone, Eastern Standard Time, nice and early. We have that kind of strange uh, time change for this week only uh, between the UK session, the European session, and uh, Eastern Standard Time here as we equalize the... Uh, the uh, what do they call it? daylight savings time and so it's a little bit of a strange week for a lot of people and kind of get messed up a little bit here uh, but doing a recorded uh, London Open this morning I had already told my group that I wouldn't be uh, tr um, streaming live on the London Open only the New York Open for this week due to the uh, confusing uh, time change and, and what have you but we'll get back to normal uh, next week we're also rethinking this whole live stream thing since we haven't been taking a lot of trades right on the open uh, due to the way things have been uh, moving around here. Most of our trades are to have been taken later in the session when we get some range expansion and it's kind of a, a more suited to, uh, to to our style or my style of, of scalping. So we're brand new at this. We'll, we'll rethink a few things here and, and uh, kind of uh, follow what the majority wants. Uh, we have a great uh, Telegram group uh, community building now. We're almost at 100 members already in just over two weeks. And so I'll defer to them and see what... Um, what they want encourage you to join us over there if you're we're, you know we're looking to build a community of like-minded individuals who kind of see the world the same way i don't mean politically or anything like that just uh, kind of when it comes to trading looking to extract profits in the most efficient way protect capital manage our emotions all of these very important things and you can hear more about that if you watch some of the videos that i've uh, produced nearly well well over a hundred videos now in just uh, three weeks it's got to be a record of some kind, but uh, happy to be here with you and happy to have you with us. Thank you very much for your support. We do things very simply here. We're trading the NASDAQ uh, futures this morning. We trade just about anything, though. But today it's the NASDAQ, and lately it's been NASDAQ, just to keep it consistent for the viewers for now. But we'll expand to a whole bunch of different things as time goes on here. What are we looking at? We're looking at a 10-minute chart of the NASDAQ on the left-hand side and a one-minute chart on the right hand side and that's about it 10 minute chart left one minute chart in the right we'll come back to this in a minute london has opened by the way that's the first candle i'm not going to rush to do anything here and if you watch my videos you'll know why pushing up now i really want to get on board that that's kind of the feelings inside of yourself right not for me you'll see why I, the only other uh, screen we'll look at is this one right here i call it the uh, four sisters it's uh, four indices, the NASDAQ again on the far left-hand side. Then we have the Dow to the right. We have the S&P to the right of that. And then we have the DAX, the German index, on the far right. And the reason we look at these, the reason I look at these, is to look for uh, synchronicity, symmetry, congruency, and possible divergence between these indices to give us clues as to what the potential next move might be. And we can get some pretty interesting information from this. First candle is open. These are the one-minute charts again of those indices. Very much in sync right now. I should say the three U.S. indices are very much in sync. You see them all pushing up there at the same time. DAX is lagging a little bit here. We'll see if it can get above its 20 EMA, as is the case with the other three. See that there? Pushing above. So above their open, above the open, above the open. Barely above the open here on the DAX but all three of these above their 20 EMA. We'll watch that very closely, but we'll spend most of our time, about 98% of our time right here on this on this uh, particular screen, that 10 minute chart on the left-hand side, the one minute chart on the right-hand side. This is the first 10 minute candle. So there are 10 of these in one of these. And I'm speaking obviously in very simplistic terms here, and that's because we uh, keep things super simple. Having been, uh, well, now in my fourth decade of trading, over 33 years of active trading, and a uh, technical analyst for 25 plus years, a chartered market technician for 23 years, I used to have very uh, complicated ways, complex ways of looking at uh, at uh, at charts and at, at the markets, and I don't now. I'm back to first principles, and that's what I teach. That's what I coach. We do everything here for free. We don't charge for anything. It's just for the love of the game. We love to share. And we love to learn. I'm a lifelong learner. And uh, so I was mentioning, if somebody asked me, why do I do this? Well, I'm a lifelong learner, but I'm also a lifelong teacher. And I'm happy to teach those who, who don't know as much as I do in any area. And I'm happy to learn uh, from everybody and anybody in those areas that I have less knowledge in and less experience in. 
And so that's what we do here. That's what we do in our Telegram group. We learn back and forth. We teach back and forth. We have some very accomplished uh, traders, very seasoned veterans in our group, uh, along with myself being an old man, uh, <laughs> older man. And we also have some very young and newer traders in our group who are also sharing great ideas, and we can learn from them. And so it's two-way street and uh, a multi-way street, of course, because now we again we have close to 100 members already. By the end of the day, we may even hit 100. Come on, come over and join us. It's uh, Zabrillion Trading, Telegram, and uh, free to join. All right, this first candle is now closing. Uh, this is, sorry, this is the five-minute candle. I was showing something, somebody something on the uh, five-minute chart. This is the 10-minute chart. So we still have five minutes left in the first candle. I thought that time went awfully fast, but obviously I know it didn't. And so here we are, five minutes left. We did all that talking and all this looking, and this really market's really gone nowhere. And you'll see this over and over again if you watch our videos and why I typically wait for this first 10-minute candle to close before even considering a trade here. You will see some videos where I've taken trades right on the open, and that has everything to do with pre-market action, right? So still in the Asian session here before the London, if I see something very specific, and you can watch the videos on that, I may take a trade here, a momentum trade, right? The, make a push right on the open, but I'm not doing that today. We are very much in a range here. This Asian range has an amplitude of only 39, call it 40 points. There's a 40 point range here, essentially for all of Asia. You could include this piece here, of course. So it would be more like 60, yeah, 60 points, 59, 75 uh, for the whole thing. But this is really the, the rangy part that we're, we're dealing with right now. This leg that you see right here on the 10 minute chart, left hand side, right? Um, but my opening range becomes the amplitude or the height of the first 10 minute candle. So it looks something like this for now. This could expand in the next three and a half minutes. Uh, but the bigger range and the more important range for me and for how I do things here would be this entire piece here. And this is why I mentioned right off the bat, why well, we're kind of rethinking the live streams here um, because we haven't been having in the last week and a half or so, haven't been having many uh, trades on the live stream because we're not getting out of these opening ranges and I'm not interested in until we do and then later on in the sessions we've been having some very well all of our days lately have been have been very profitable getting some great tra trades on the uh, on the expansion ranges here as we move into these zones like this lower zone you see here or this one down here or this one up here and that's where our trades tend to happen I send those ideas out to our Telegram group in advance, and they get to participate in those. It's not a signals group. We don't send signals at all. Don't believe in that. Uh, it's also not legal unless you're a licensed uh, professional in North America here. Um, but we give, I give guidance, and I explain what I'm doing and what I'm thinking, and if anybody wants to learn from that and uh, consider similar positions, then so be it. So that's available to you as well, and probably the more valuable aspect, quite frankly, than... Um, than looking at these these opens and saying, well, nothing really happening here. So there we go. <clears throat> I sent out a poll this morning. I'm going to check that right now to see what um, what people are uh, what people are thinking. Bear with me as we watch this last two minutes of the candle close. All right, my tra the, the group is awesome. Just really fun, funny, but serious traders. Um, funny, fun, funny uh, people, uh, individuals, and but just so serious about their, their trading practice. And I love that. Uh, able to laugh and have fun with each other. And at the same time, take their business practice very seriously. And that's what uh, that's what we do at Zerly, and that's what I do. And uh, hopefully you can you can uh, garner some insights on that basis as well. Great to have you with us. Thank you for, for tuning in. Thank you for joining us here on the videos, for being interested in what we're doing. And uh, we'd love to learn from you as well.
approaching the last one minute now, 55 seconds left in this 10 minute candle. You see that there? You notice how it's gone nowhere. We're still very much in the middle of that first, <laughs> that initial candle. We'll often see traders jumping in and out trying to decide which way this market's going to go. I don't do that anymore. I might have done that in my first year or two of trading in the late 80s, early 90s, but um, not anymore. Of course, we didn't have these online tools back then. We didn't even have the internet back then. Uh, my charting was done by hand. Yep. Graph paper, uh, open, high, low, close charts with a pencil and a ruler. This was before... Um, this was before uh, fire was invented. They eventually came out with that, able to heat our homes. Uh, but we, <laughs> we charted with uh, with paper. I used to order chart books. I traded uh, futures too back in the early 90s and I would order chart books and they would come once a week and on Friday they would show up and then I would be on the weekend be able to to start um, you know, updating them for the next week and then uh, work on that basis, but it was a very different time. I mean, these tools, I mean, look at TradingView that we're using here today just for charting. I don't trade on TradingView. I trade while I scalp with interactive brokers because they have great spreads and, and terrific uh, execution. I have no affiliation with them. Uh, I use other brokerages for, for uh, firms for my, my position in swing trading, but these tools are just incredible what you can do now and I think why the trading community has become a global and open community, first of all, because of the internet, but also these these amazing charting tools with you know MT4, MT5, and and uh, TradingView is my, my favorite because it's just so robust and allows you to do so much. If you're wondering about my colors on my charts, some people love the colors, some people don't like them as much. I'm colorblind, and that's why I, I use these colors because they're I can they're they're for me they're a stark contrast. So I can differentiate between the candles and these various other shapes and, and backgrounds and what have you. So I apologize if it's not to your your liking uh, on, in terms of color scheme, but I've had some really positive feedback. Other people are changing their their chart colors to the same thing. Uh, so some people enjoy it. You'll never please everybody, and that's okay. I'm, I have no uh, no overarching desire to please everybody, but we want to build a community, like I said, of like-minded people. You don't have to like the chart colors, but if we can think similarly in terms of extracting profits, then awesome. Let's get together and, and uh, share ideas. Pushing up here now a little bit, we are into the second candle. I didn't even mention it because we're still very much in the middle of this range. Uh, I would need to get up here into this range to here or down here in order to consider a trade. So it looks like, honestly, to me, and this is like, what, we're two and a half weeks streaming now. It's looking like to me that I might I might stop with the live streams here in the open just because I've repeated, I think, enough of what, you know, what, how we think here and what we do and um, and rather, you know, uh, film, film my trades, send the ideas in advance to the Telegram group. I uh, encourage you to join that group so you can participate in that, but... We'll have to see here. I'm still debating that, so getting some feedback from the group. There are a few that would like the live streams to continue, but some are saying, I'm good if you just send it to the group. So just being completely open here with you in terms of what we're thinking. Yeah, so far the majority are, are saying, um, you know, either way is fine, but the, the majority is saying, great idea to send the ideas to the telegram group and then record the videos okay we've recorded the trades on video and post them on YouTube so that everybody can learn from them okay so that that's that's uh, kind of what my thinking was too and I, uh, what the poll was about maybe that's the direction we'll take welcome your feedback too in the comment section on that so we're going nowhere here guys this morning you see this is what I'm talking about and this is the way it's been of late uh, in New York, too. In New York, of course, where we get that huge range expansion for the NASDAQ. I'm also considering, by the way, moving to trading the DAX and or FTSE in the London session and then the NASDAQ Dow E-mini in the New York session. For those many of the UK traders, I'm assuming, will trade the DAX and FTSE. And so just to align with them, I'm happy to do that. It's all the same market action. I, you know, Once you understand price action, you can trade just about anything. So I welcome that feedback as well from you. On that note, guys, I think I might wrap it up here. Uh, again, we're dead center now in that opening range. I've introduced you to how we think here a little bit. I will tell you what I'm looking for. 
excuse me, I was away from the mic there for a second. I will tell you what I'm looking for here is to move up into the, this upper zone or to wait for prices to move into these lower zones and look for a clean close, a convincing close or evidence that price is moving in a particular direction and then look to take either a long or a sell based on other things you will see in the videos as you go through them. I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I know I hate hearing this myself. I'm going to say hate. I get tired of hearing it from other YouTubers. So I'm going to say it anyway. Click the notification bell. And the reason I'm saying that is because we uh, upload between, you know, two, three to five or six videos a day in order to get those in a timely manner. Uh, you can be notified, obviously, if you click that notification bell. So please do. And then um, I hope not to say that too often because I know it gets tiring to hear, but I just wanted to uh, remind you in case you just needed that little prompt. Again, guys, dead center here in the range. Not going to stick around for more here on the live stream and waste your time. But uh, come and join us and, and get these ideas ahead of time on um, on the Telegram channel. That's Cerulean Trading Telegram. Hope to see you in the New York session. May repeat some of this there. Otherwise, we'll see you uh, with other trade ideas and videos on the YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Have an amazing day and an amazing rest of the week. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining us.